Fish Tank people, FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope your NFL team does well today. If they're in the playoffs, fortunate enough to be in there. My team's only been in there once in the past 15 years, but at least they didn't fire the coach. Come on, Brownies. Next year's the year, right? Next year's the year. Here's what's going on, folks. Today I want to talk about what I did last night with my wife's no maintenance tank at her work. But first I want to share with you all a little something I got going on. I believe the fish tank gods are looking out for me because I don't know if you heard, but I got an event here in Lexington, January 17th, less than two weeks away. West Six Brewery partnering with Aquaponics, foodchainlex.org, my people, having a big almost 12 hour event, folks. The fish tank gods are shining on me. On Wednesday, I'm picking up not one, not two, not three, but four four-foot tanks. I think it's 255s and 275s. And some of you all that attend the event can bring one home with you. That's right. I'm bringing it to you raw, folks, like shimmy, shimmy, y'all. And you know what else is great about it? You guys might be sick about hearing this. Hey, I'm on the West Coast, or hey, I'm down in Texas, and I can't make it. Well, guess what? This show is ultimately going on the road, so I intend on going around. I just gotta work the kinks out here local. So anyway, I'm having a great day. I'm excited to bring you this video. Yo, if your wife, your girlfriend, your parent, your mom, your roommate, whatever, they want a certain type of fish, you give it to them. So here's what we did on Saturday with my wife's tank. Add a little neon action. Hope you enjoy it, folks. Wife wants neons, you give her neons. Uh, people in your family want a certain type of fish, you give it to them. Keep them involved in the hobby. That's the key. So we went to a local pet shop. Uh, we'll remain nameless, but they had uh, five neons only in stock. I actually like their tanks were lightly stocked. They were in glass cats. Glass cats are a little more finicky than others, so I figured these are some healthy fish. Uh, we bring them back and we float them. Now, with neon tetras, I float them for a really, really long time. No reason to rush the acclimation, especially cookies and I was actually promised cookies by my wife so I was sitting there you can see me chowing down some cookies they were pretty good actually so while we're doing that though I'm actually gonna make her do the maintenance on this sucker so we're gonna go ahead and do about a 30% water change you can see the water uh, coming down there you don't want to do too big a water changes with neons though and while my wife is doing the water changes I ate more cookies so these were some Apontaton Ovasis bulbs I had out in the greenhouse. They have a dormant period. Uh, these, I'm assuming, went through that dormant period. I'm going to go ahead and add these. They're a fast grower, easy, nice plant. I've actually got a few of them in stock, too, as well. So we're adding the Apontatons while my wife is working on the water changes. You can see I have a ton of water in the bag. I've slowly, every 15 minutes, been adding a little bit of water to the neons. So what I'm going to do, you can see in this video here, six tips for acclimating fish and buying fish. I went through all of those. But basically, you don't pour any of the water from the pet store into your tank. Uh, especially with wild caught Peruvian fish. So, and then here's a close up of the festival at the end. I am a little concerned about this guy eating the neons because he isn't fed that much. But you can see the tank has grown in well. I'm liking the way the jungle vials coming in around, as well as the Anubias popping off, and the water sprite's kind of been a pain. It's been melting back a little bit, but whatever it is, what it is. And here's a final look at the neon tetras. Quick note on neons: you really, really, really want to add them slowly. My wife asked on Saturday, "Hey, can we add more fish on Tuesday?" The answer is no. We're gonna add more fish probably about a week from now. Probably only three or four more neons. Add them slowly, like two or three every week. So if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. If you're anywhere near Lexington, Kentucky, January 17th, come see me, folks. Come to me 12 hour fish tank event saturday january 17th click the link below and check it out everybody make it an awesome day awesome week and tank on later